everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome today we're going to go over some things that i got from dollar tree and dollar general and i'm going to kind of show y'all how i use those things to decorate with and some of them are diys and some of them are things i just picked up from those stores like this little m in the middle of the lamb's ear wreath that i got from hobby lobby is from dollar general and it was a dollar and i just added that into the center of my wreath and then the little red gingham ribbon is from dollar tree and I just made a bow for the top of it. Very simple way to add something extra to your wreaths for holidays or just for every day. Then this next thing, I actually made this little stand around Christmas time. I took one of my candle holders that I had and then atop the lid top of a plastic bowl, it had the little scallops on it from Dollar Tree, I believe. Dollar General does carry them and they're both a dollar. So whichever place you can find them at. And they usually have them for holidays. I know Valentine's, I saw one. They had this one was for Christmas. And I just took some E6000 and some hot glue and glued them together and then spray painted it white. And then next I made this little yarn heart. Um, I just got some cardboard that I had on hand. I took a cookie cutter that I had and traced it out onto the cardboard and then wrap the yarn that I got from Dollar Tree in a pack of three that you saw probably at the beginning of the video. Oh, and the books, that I'm, it looks like books, but it's not. It's actually a little crate. That's what I was showing you on the side. It's just one of those little crates from Dollar Tree. And I just painted it all white and then put the letters on it. There's sticker letters from our Dollar Tree as well. And then the little red gingham ribbon that I wrapped around it was from Dollar Tree too. But very simple, cute. And you could do this, you could make some for you know for uh that you could keep all the time like a out every day you know um could put a bible verse on it you could put whatever you wanted to do on it yourself and like i said the, they have these black stickers at dollar tree and then of course the little red yarn heart that i put in the front was very simple to make all right this thing i actually got from dollar general the tray that everything is sitting in is from dollar general it's like a galvanized with the rope on it and it was six dollars i believe and then i got a white cashmere candle and it smells really good that was also from dollar general i don't know if i said dollar tree on the tray or dollar general i'm gonna get confused here but anyway um it's from dollar general and then this little plant was from dollar general and it was five dollars and then this vase that i got my sister-in-law actually got me this for christmas so i'm not sure where it came from but i got me some tulips which are my absolute favorite flower and they had some at Aldi's and so I got some to put in here because I love fresh flowers. And then this little beaded garland is from Dollar General as well and it was only a dollar. And I know they had a couple different ones. I actually got two and I used another one somewhere else and I thought they were so cute for a dollar. I couldn't make it for a dollar. Okay, for this canvas, I got this 8x10 canvas from Dollar Tree and then the little wood die cutout stickers from Dollar Tree and I just stuck them in a line, three rows of the all natural, one row of the red and then a large red one and it was easy as that and I think it turned out really cute. Okay, if you saw my Dollar Tree haul, you saw this um, like palette Wickham wood heart and I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it. But after Christmas, I found a Pioneer Woman Christmas bag that didn't look anything like Christmas. And I just Mod Podged it onto this heart and then painted the other two parts um, this pink to match and then put the little love sign on it. Okay, if you're like me and you like Ray Dunn things, but you don't want to pay the price for them or sometimes you can't find them for holidays. I went on Etsy and found these um, sticker transfers that are Ray Dunn inspired and I just put them onto Dollar Tree um, plates and cups that I got and I thought they turned out really cute. They were very simple and easy to do. I went ahead and showed you. I know that Valentine's Day is you know pretty much come and gone but I thought if you wanted to get some of these um, then you could do them for every day you know get some uh, some sayings that were for every day or some for the next holiday for Easter if you wanted to and I wanted to show you how very simple they were to do I mean anyone can do this but I think I paid $18 and I got like 15 stickers so I didn't think that was bad at all for that price and I you, you'd buy two pieces of Ray Dunn stuff for that and then of course my um, mugs and my cups I got those from Dollar Tree so very inexpensive 
Okay, this tear tray is from Target that I got at Christmas time, and everything on this tear tray is from Dollar Tree except for the mug. It was from TJ Maxx, and I think it was like $3 or something. But I just wanted to show y'all that you can make these little tear trays and things look really cute with Dollar Tree or Dollar General items, and you don't have to break the bank to do it. And this is what I call my calendar heart because I got the heart piece from Dollar Tree and I took a piece of a calendar out of a calendar for February and Mod Podge it onto the heart, added a bow and the little XOXO and I think it turned out really cute. I love how this ribbon heart turned out. All the ribbon was from Dollar Tree and then the heart frame was from Dollar Tree and I just glued it on there and made a little bow and then put it onto my wreath that was on my ladder already. And I love how it turned out. I think it's so pretty for Valentine's Day. And here is how my Valentine's Day tree in my living room turned out. Everything on it is from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. All the ribbon is from Dollar Tree. And the only thing that was not from either of the stores was the Buffalo Plaid Mesh. And it is from Hobby Lobby. And I got it for 75% off after Christmas. Okay, this greenery garland that I put in front of my TV is from Hobby Lobby. If you get it half off, it's $10. And then I did a fabric buffalo plaid garland that I put in there between that. And I made that. And then the little red hearts that are in there were off of like a little banner, just like this one. And I just pulled them off of the twine. And that was from Dollar General for a dollar. And then the burlap and the gingham, black gingham was from Dollar General as well and it was $2.50 for that one so I just put them together because I like the red and the black mixed together okay so I took these little felt stickers from Dollar General and I made my daughter some little ornaments for her tree to keep it up in her room and those were both a dollar from Dollar General and this is how they turned out and I think they're so cute they remind me of like little valentines that you give to people on valentines and I think Valentine's Day and I think they turned out really cute. She was thrilled with it. She loved her tree. She didn't like me having to take it down. She is her mother's child. <laughs> she loves Christmas. So for her to get to keep it up, I thought it was great and she thought it was great and I loved making these. I used the little tower blocks from Dollar Tree and just glued them together and painted them white and then added my little felt stickers and ribbon I already had. And then this little pom-pom garland was from Dollar General and then these little heart picks were from Dollar General but all of them are a dollar. So very affordable and a good way to add something, you know, for Valentine's Day, but not have to spend a lot on them. I thought they were really cute. And this is how it turned out. And she was absolutely thrilled with, it. even though she does not sleep in her room, she still sleeps with us, but she thinks it's great when she's in there playing to have her little tree plugged in. And I think it like, it turned out really cute. I was thrilled with it. I have two boys before we had her. So all the girly stuff, I just love all of it. All right, everything on my table is not from Dollar Tree or Dollar General, but I wanted to give you an idea of how to do a romantic um, table setting for Valentine's Day, either just for your spouse or for friends or whatever. But I would say always add a lot of glass and lighting and to make it more romantic, add a lot of candles. Um, the centerpiece that I made, I had the lamps here and I just added some pink roses from Dollar Tree and the white flowers. In my tree, I added a lot of Dollar Tree things. I made some more of those yarn hearts. The little wicker balls are from Dollar Tree. The grapevine hearts I painted white are from Dollar Tree. So a lot of the things that I did on my trees are from Dollar Tree. This little sign is from TJ Maxx. The little votives were from Dollar Tree. The mirrored pedestal is from Dollar General. I got it after Christmas for 25 cent. The candle holders are from Hobby Lobby. I got them, I think, after Spring Shop or whatever, after last year, 90% off. The little hanging pink flowers here on the bottom are from Dollar Tree. And then my pink canvas that I made up here, a little pink heart canvas. The canvas is from Dollar Tree. And the little pink doily heart is from Dollar Tree. And then this glass jar, I got it from Dollar Tree and just added some of those white rocks that are from Dollar Tree. <laughs> And then the little pink roses are also from Dollar Tree, and I just added them into some greenery I already had. And the garland going down the center is from Hobby Lobby. 
My charger plates are from Dollar General. I think I got those for a dollar. The little pink plates are from Target for 50 cents. The white napkins are from Home Goods. I got a pack of them for a pack of six for like five dollars. They were on clearance. Then the napkin rings are from Hearth and Hand, and my sister in law got me those for Christmas. But definitely, if you want to make something look more high end, add a lot of glass and candles and golds and things like that. Gold looks good with farmhouse, but also does look more elegant too if you want to make it look more high end. But I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope y'all got some inspiration and that you enjoyed it. And I hope that y'all have a wonderful Valentine's Day weekend. And I'll see you in the next one.